Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Toho. I took a long time to get around to this game, didn't I? This game was supposed to come out before Unconnected Marketeers and it didn't, so I ended up playing Unconnected Marketeers first. But by the time I actually uploaded the Unconnected Marketeers stuff, this game had long, long since been out. And even like fully translated and everything, which is mainly what I was waiting for. But man, my uh, quote-unquote absence definitely delayed things quite a bit too. Yeah, I'm definitely glad to be getting around to playing this game. I uh, just really felt like playing some more Toho as of late, and uh, the actual reason for that is because just a few days ago, I ended up going to a Toho-themed convention called Toho Fest. And so, you might say that I've got Toho on the mind. <laughs> People are interested, but maybe at some point I'll make a uh, video talking about my experience at Toho Fest, but I don't want to get into all that right now because I have a game to play. <laughs> Definitely been looking forward to playing this, and uh, I certainly know some things about this game, but I am mostly unspoiled in regards to what this game's story is, and also what its gameplay is like. I've seen screenshots, but... That's about it. Uh, I am aware of what characters are in this game because, you know, it's hard to go this long without accidentally seeing character sprites on the wiki. Like you go to, uh, you know, the wiki page for some Toho character and you see that their portrait has been updated to a very different style version. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess they're in this game. Some that I can think of off the top of my head are like, Yamame, Marasa, Flan. But for the most part, uh, I don't remember exactly what most of the characters in this game are. It'll come back to me. I I've certainly seen all of the characters in this game before. But again, I don't know what the gameplay is like. I don't know what uh, you know, the story is like. I am aware of the new character called Yuma, and I understand that she has something to do with oil, question mark? Considering this game's premise that it advertised has something to do with black water, I'm going to guess that's the black water that's being described. So some of my friends have said that uh, Yuma is the kind of character that I would either love or hate, so I guess we're going to find that out. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what this game is all about and, you know, getting to figure out what the gameplay is like because I'm still not entirely clear on what genre this game is. It's side-scrolling for sure, that much I can tell, but I, I don't know, the description of it before it released was a bit, uh, vague, let's say. Well, poorly timed uh, bathroom break aside, let us begin. Story mode, manual, music room, achievements, config. Let's see what's in here. TV effect. You can just put scan lines on for some reason. <laughs> sure, whatever. I'll leave those off. Manual. Unleashing the power of water. Huh. Maybe I should just jump into the game, because purely if I'm confused, I can just go back to that. Are, are like, gunshot sound effects? What is this, Shadow the Hedgehog? There's only hard, easy, and normal. Surprising. Ah, uh, good, good old, uh, Soku sound effects. Hey, we've got Ramu, Marissa, Ramu, Marissa. Well, I suppose let's just start with Ramu. Ah, oh, yeah, I, I figured there would be like a tutorial of some kind. Button one. Well, Z does not seem to... Oh! Okay, so there's not really a jump as much as, uh... 
pressing Z and a direction cause you to dash in that direction. Interestingly enough, pressing down in Z seems to make you go up. Seems if you do it against a wall, you go up it too. Huh. Fascinating. Okay, button two and directional keys. Fascinating. Use button one. Directional keys to cross through the wall of bullets. Uh, there are just random disease put over top of some of the uh, text. Zoom into Dan Matthew while moving with button one. Well, that went further than I thought it would. Ah, I was holding the button, that's the problem. Let's see. Okay, so use button two to attack the scarecrow through bullets. So I guess I can also dash through things with this. Huh. Button one or two. Track to back you towards you. Oh, are, are the Z's and X's like trying to give me the controls, but it keeps saying button one or two for some reason? <laughs> Whoa. Definitely seem to have a mid-air attack kind of thing. Huh. So I attract it towards you and collectively erase it. So wait, I, I think the point it's trying to say is that if I clear, if I graze through some of it, it'll get rid of all of it? Huh. Press and hold button 3 to collect water. Release it to activate a spell card. Oh wait, I, I release it to fire it? Not sure if I saw all of the instructions or not. Well, I, I seem to understand it at least. Red magic squares are your chance to attack. Attack when you see a red magic square. Oh, so not magic square, literally. It's just a magic circle, kind of. Or it might be two squares, depending on how you look at it. That was easy. Yeah, it definitely seems to have an interesting combat system. Head right to finish a tutorial. Well, that's fascinating. Episode 1. Marissa Kirasame. I think you know Reimu too well at this point. <laughs> of course, they gotta come up with reasons to fight. Used to handling water, was she a plumber? Yeah, 
Get back here. Uh, I can do multiple things at once. I think I'm uh, getting the hang of this. Destroyed. The stamina bar for. Oh, right. I, I can only, like, dash a certain number of times before uh, I have to stop. Uh, I wasn't expecting her to do that. I'm guessing I'm not able to uh, graze through that necessarily. Nice. <laughs> oh, I had an opportunity to just attack it. If I wanted to. Okay, I, I I'm starting to understand this a little bit. Destroyed. It is funny noticing a uh, number of reuse sound effects from previous games. Definitely makes sense. I mean, I expect it more of the regular Toho games, but it's kind of funny to notice in a very, like, different kind of game. Is it just the font, or is there... No, it's, it's just the font. The Fs are weird in the font. Good to know. Winner. Really fun remix of uh, Marissa's theme. Rainbow Cavern of Earth Spirits. Is that an umbrella? That couldn't possibly be Kogasa Tatara, could it? I I'm sure it is. It, it, it almost certainly is. Well, I, I didn't get a chance to read that. <laughs> True. Fight. So, it definitely doesn't seem like it disappears when I, uh, burst, uh, you know, touch the uh, attack. Seems like I only do it when I've uh, hit a certain number of the bullets. Ah, damn it, I didn't see the uh, bullets coming. I can still attack even uh, you know, while she's attacking. I just don't stun her when I do that, because she keeps on attacking. Destroyed. Dude, you attack really fast in this game. You could just melt bosses' health bars, at least early on. <laughs> You're surprised about this. Actually, having a uh, flat block here. 
Yeah, if the boss is at a quarter, you could just destroy them. I keep forgetting what the uh, button is. I'm used to like the graze button in a Toho game like this being something other than a jump button. Ah, uh, I almost pressed it in time. All right, again, I forget that I uh, can only do it a certain number of times before I have to touch the ground. Oh well, I'll get the hang of this. Though not very quickly, it would seem like. <laughs> I feel like I could do this very safely by just, uh, you know, dodging the attacks and uh, collecting the water to do all my damage, but what's the fun in that? Oh, I didn't see her coming. Definitely uh, hard to distinguish what I should be paying attention to at this point. <laughs> Destroyed. I wonder what a speed run of this would look like. <laughs> ah, I see this is like a uh, one directional scrolling kind of thing. That place doesn't seem like you always get stunned when you attack her at the, you know, right time. I need to, like, get rid of my muscle memory from the fighting games where every button is attack, and remember that pressing C doesn't do anything. Seems like you have that classic uh, Toho fighting game thing of, uh, you know, you do the jab combo and it just, uh, it automatically executes the uh, stronger attack at the end of it. Not you did. <laughs> Someone you know. Interrogate her. Beat the shit out of her. She has information. Get it from her. Is this gonna be Yugi? Oh yeah, it's gotta be. Because <laughs> I saw in the bottom right something about former hell, and I was like, ah, who, who from there is in this game, to my knowledge? <laughs> There's even a whole town. Yes, you've been here before, Raymond. You've literally been here. Hello, Yugi. It's 
score. I came here for the hot. Even by former hell standards. Ah, yep. You know, when I heard about, like, the uh, it being oil thing, I kind of thought that it would be, like, some spoiler thing, like, oh, that, that was supposed to be revealed later. But no, they, they tell you pretty upfront. Close enough. Oh, you gotta buy you gotta buy her dinner first, Ramu. Like he has a uh, fairly similar attack. <laughs> uh, I, I keep dashing through that, thinking I can, uh, you know, cancel it just like. Uh, with other, like, spell cards and whatnot. But no, it just pushes you upwards. Ah, cannot dash through that. The fact that she telegraphs her attacks fairly well means that I can probably just keep doing somewhat significant damage to her throughout this whole phase. Uh, I was paying too much attention to the water to see that. Uh, I didn't have time to dodge that. Again, I need to get out of like my muscle memory that pressing Z will actually do damage. Because I'm like, oh, fighting game combo, I, I can press the Z button to do the jab combo, but that's not how it works. I gotta press X to do the jab combo. You know what, since I'm having, like, such a hard time with the muscle memory, I'm changing the controls. <laughs> uh... Oh, okay, I, I was very confused at first. I'm gonna set that to Shift, Z, and X. It's not letting me put it on Enter, so I guess I'll put it on P, whatever. I can continue right from where I left off, that's convenient. I was expecting to have to speed run the previous two stages. <laughs> okay, th this certainly helps. Okay, yeah, th this is so much better, oh my god. <laughs> she tried to go to the right. Ah, 
Uh, I, I tried to cancel my attacking. Uh, I again, I tried to go up, but it didn't work out. Ah. Uh. Ah, I, I don't know when to expect that one. Destroyed. Yeah, it really was just an issue of muscle memory screwing me over, wasn't it? <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to dash to the left there. I just kind of pressed the dash button, and I guess since I was facing left, it did that. You know, it's the shape of this arena makes it really convenient to, uh, you know, get that spell card activated. Destroyed, oh my god. It's amazing what a simple control scheme change can do. Yeah, I'd imagine Vengeful Spirits would uh, make it rather inconvenient to relax here. <laughs> 